Hello everybody, we're on. Hope you can hear me okay. Um, so, hi, I'm Daniel, as you rem hopefully remember from last week, and uh, we are going to be doing some level stream, uh, level building today, carrying on from where we left um, previously. So we'll be doing uh, systems engineering again today. I don't have anyone initially with me moderating this. Um, people are busy with life stuff um, so people will be along um, do let me know I can see the twitch chat uh, just let me know if you can hear everything okay um, hopefully the audio problems are sorted out I was kicking myself last time because I worked out the audio problem and it was extremely easy so hopefully that won't happen again um, so yeah we might as well crack on and get to it So, last time we left off, um, oh actually I want to show you um, what I've been working on over the last week actually. So um, on Monday after I finished doing the stream I thought I'm going to leave the, um, I'm going to leave systems engineering for a bit and I'm going to start building the reactor level. This is the progress I was able to make over the last week, the last five days. So that was the beginning of the reactor level. Um, this was by the end of Monday. Um, this next screenshot was by the end of Wednesday. So the elevator where the player, end, where the player starts the level is about here. Uh, and as you can see, it's been pretty fleshed out since we started. Um, this progress was by, where's my arrow, there it is, that's by Thursday, um, a lot more of the uh, northeastern section has been built, and that was the progress by Friday, um, so that's the central area for the reactor which the player can't access until they have to go in. To the well, they can access it, but it's not necessary for them to access it until much later on in the story. So um, that's the top view. That's what it looks like from a little bit of a slant. I put these screenshots in our Discord, so feel free to check them out. You might have to scroll up a little bit in the uh, in the System Shock um, chat, but yeah, that's the progress that I made um, over the last week. Um, so I'll quickly fire it up actually. So. Um, this is what it looks like unlit, not very exciting, but it is a huge area. I purposefully didn't put the roof on here just so I could show you guys what it looks like from above. Um, that's what, what it looks like lit. Um, and yeah, it's just a huge area. Obviously the green lights mean radiation. I didn't fully build the actual reactor part of the level yet, I just wanted to get the main pillars in there so I could judge the rest of the size of the room. Um, but yep, I've got all my annotations in there, all my notes, um, what corpses contain, what crates are full of, any papers, that kind of stuff. So. That's the progress that I made over the last five days. Um, but for now, we're going to go back to uh, systems engineering. Provided my Unreal doesn't crash, there we go. Uh, we'll go back to unlit mode. You should be able to see the game um, from where, from the, uh, yep, everything looks okay on my end, so. Uh, yeah, we'll carry on from where we left off, so yeah, this is the corridor that we left off in. I haven't done anything else to this area since, <coughs> excuse me, so um, just added a few annotations here and there, um, nothing too important, we've just kind of left it as is, so we're going to continue on. And we are going to continue on from 
here. So let's go on lit and let's get this area sorted out. So these ramps are a bit unfortunate because in Unreal you can't actually walk up them. Um, oh no, let's start a little. I want to go from the camera. There we go. So if I would start here, wait for the light to kick in. Yeah, these ramps I can't actually walk up. These will probably be replaced at stairs with some point. Um, but uh, yeah, that's just one area where, again, we have to think about level layout and things like that. Obviously, these won't remain as they are. So um, yeah. Let's continue on from where we left off now. So we get a look at this ceiling here. So that's pretty much, oh, we'll be using the same system I used last time, so I'll be talking in two, four, six, eight, ten numbers. Um, it, don't worry about it, it's fine. I can explain it again if people want me to, but that's 200, 400, 600. Then we have 400 and then two, four, six, eight. So we'll do that now. We can cheat. Take that one, move it over here. Oops, not 6700, there we go. We'll just duplicate that. Does that fit perfectly actually? Oh, it does. That was lucky. All right, so that's 246, then we've got 200, 400. Mm, could probably save a bit of space there actually. You never know with this level, we might need the extra space as we go on. So, well actually, yeah, we'll bump that back down to four. And then we'll take that, copy it over. Yeah, that's right. Two, four, six, that's actually a thousand, so we'll change that back to eight. So I'm just reading the chat and make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, is the roof? I call them roofs, I mean ceilings. Bad habit of mine. That's flat, so we can just take that up. We can make the X of that 800. I'll actually make it 100 high, actually. You never know when we'll need this base. This level's got a bit of verticality as well to it. Some of the level tends to lap over itself, so we'll sort that out. We won't go down there yet. I want to go up here. Uh, so that's a 400 by 200 block. It should fit nicely from there, actually. Let's copy that over. Fit that in there. Put the floor in. Make that only a hundred high for now, because again, we don't know when we'll need the space. Let me guys know if you can hear the background music as well. That should be working as well now. First time stream jitters last time. We should be okay this time. Oh, am I being pushed? No. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So that's not four. That should be twelve. And we'll move that. Oh, by the way, I don't know about you guys, but it has been exceptionally warm here in the UK. I've been spending the last three days um, mainly getting some sun. I might look a bit sunburnt, actually. Um, it might look worse under the lights than it actually is, but uh, I'm not sore or anything, so that's always good. But when the good days come around in Britain, you tend to take them. And uh, I got sick and tired of sitting around inside, so I thought, I'm just going to sit outside for a bit. And, uh, yeah. 
So is that another 400 block? Oop. Die you. That's another 400 block. It looks as if that might be actually a 400 by 400 piece. Yes, okay. So I'll take that. Take that, alter its X to make it four. And part that there. Now we've got a diagonal corridor. These are always fun. But first, oh yeah, we've, we've already got that. So, okay, so we just need a one corner bit, two, three corner pieces, okay. I should have a corner piece lying around somewhere that I can just quickly copy to go find one. Yep, there we go. Nope, we don't want to hold the Windows button. Take that. And we'll move it down here. And along 200, I think it was. Yep, 200. Hmm, I wonder, are we going to have the space to do this? 200, 400. Actually, we might not have the space. 200, 400. Hmm. We don't have the space. Unless we change this wall. Okay, we're going to have to make this. Blimey, it's hot. To make that 400 instead. Move that down and copy this wall back up. Make it 200 by 400 in size. And just slot that in there, and that should look absolutely fine. That might be making that area a bit thin, but I'm kind of stretched for space here. This is mainly where the problems come in. That should be fine. I don't know if we can make this room any smaller though. Where does it connect to? Oh, it's all oh, right. Okay, it's that drop. Okay. Right. So, okay. Ah, yes, there's the drop. Yeah, so that's where that crate was up here. So that crate's there. So need one of those. Copy it, turn it, change my angle to 45. That looks as if it's absolutely perfect actually. I love it when the plan comes together. That is pretty much spot on. See it's moments like that I enjoy the most when you build around something and then you have to kind of connect them back together it's just the most satisfying feeling when it actually just clicks together and you think oh, i got it right so that's all that's always really really good so we'll make that 400 and yeah that's that fits absolutely perfectly um so that's 200 by 200 block Or can we actually we can just extend that out? So that's. Oop, nope, that's the wrong way. That should be fine. Yes! Yep, Toothless is watching me because I am an adult and I can buy dragons if I want. So he'll just be sitting here behind us. I'm an adult, I promise. So, don't know why there's just a random slant there. That doesn't make any sense at all. We can keep it, but. 
I would not be surprised if Chris says, no, we can't have that there. <laughs> but I'll just make it anyway. Selecting the corners of these things is always a pain. There we go. Yep, that looks fine. It looks as if that wall might fill that gap. Actually, we'll just go around. So we'll need another triangular block to go there. And that's that little piece of hallway done. So that's another 200 by... Shall I just take that block? It's the same size. Just copy it over. So yeah, now we've got that little section through here. Got an audio log down there though. What's in that crate? Oh, it's empty. Or is it? What I do, because the game, the loot in this game is random, um, but it is random only when you open the inventory of something. So I will demonstrate actually in a sec. Yeah, that's it. that is actually empty. So if I shoot this guy here, his loot is, this probably might not work now, but Heavy Slug and Hollow Tip 2100 rounds. If I reload the level and go and kill him again, does he have different stuff? Yes, he has different, oh no, does he? No, no, <laughs> all right, okay, that didn't work that time. But yeah, um, most of the loot on dead bodies anyway, or in crates, can be random. Um, so we don't need that. Yep, that drops down loop. Right into there. Um, oop, I'm lost now. Where am I? There I am. This is another... Oh, this is another um, example of very tight spacing. This, the, because I had to make this wall a thickness, it is now part of the floor in this area. So I need to kind of go from there and create the floor. And kind of just blend them together, really. Is that only 400? Looks like it. Yeah. We'll keep that 400. We'll keep that 400. That only needs to be 300, because the wall there is also making a part of the floor. Make that 200, and we have the floor. Hmm. for this area is flat, so we don't need to worry about that. Yeah, that joins on from there, okay. And there's just grating there, which makes my life easy. 400, 200, and it's just a single 200 block. I use um, planes to represent gratings so that can stay as that um, copy this up sorry I should be keeping an eye on the chat do I have dragons license for that uh, no <laughs> if there is one let me know and I'll get one Yeah, I am playing the Spyro music in the background just for some audio. I don't know if anybody can hear it. Do, do, do. 
that's 200, 400, 600, 700. So I'll make that 200 tall. Goes there. Grab the corner of that. Put it there and that's that. It's down there anyway. Uh, okay, I think I know where that goes. Uh, we can go back to making that. Yeah, let's make that. Yeah, that'll do. There's nothing going in that space, so we can just leave it at a flat 200. There might be some something later. Okay, that's that sorted. Now we can continue on. So, we don't want to go that way. We'll go this way for now. Got to remember to pause my game. So, 200, 400, 600 on there. that over, make it 200 and then 400, so then we got 200 to 600. I've had to kind of train myself to remember um, which direction's which. Um, I just have to remember that uh, the X direction, which is that way, is red, and Y is that way, which is green. I tend to forget looking at this little um, XYZ display in the bottom. I just remember it as red X and just kind of go from there. It's my own system. So that was two, four, six. Then how long is this floor? Two, four, six, eight. Copy that, we'll make it 800. So that should be. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that should be all right. Um, which way going? Going towards the core. Awesome. So that's two, four, six, eight. Six, eight thousand, and six hundred that way. Yep, pretty simple stuff there. Um, one sec while I check my Discord. Oh. Change the name on Twitch. I say, oh, apparently broadcasting on. I have no mouth and I'm a scream right now. Okay. Whoops. I don't know how to change that in here either. Uh, I'm going to press things. If they break, then sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't know how you change this. Yes, I am in Streamlabs. It's only if I put it up to stop. That'd be inconvenient. Oh, yeah. Uh, because it's so hot, I have uh, cider. I've got a nice Magnus Irish cider there. Top of chat window in Streamlabs, little pencil icon. Ah! Thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, but what do I change it to? That is the question. Switch the thing to creative, says my boss. 
the thing. Okay. Uh, there. I hope that worked. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that, bearded 3D. Oh my goodness, it is hot, hot, hot. Oh my god, even the side is turned warm. <laughs> it is toasty. Okay, so we want 200 by 400. So that's only 200 thickness, so we'll need just 400. Mm, yeah, that should be fine. Yeah. So, big letters going into the core. Sounds like a huge, massive place we've got to sort out. Oh, I haven't built that wall yet. What are we doing? Two, four, six, eight, eight hundred. Mm -hmm. Just double that, and we're good. Not many things to really annotate. I might go and do the annotation part of this um, later. Um, watching me just sitting around doing notes probably that won't be that much. very entertaining. Um, I will, however, label this place so I know where it is in the future. So we'll just make that 100 for now, because I'm not sure what's on the other side of it yet. Put that there. Just make a quick note. Get my render text out. Turn it by 90. Move it out a tiny bit. I'll just call it core. And make it yellow. Nope, not pink. Where's my thing? Where is it? There we go. Make it core. Let's give it a nice big font, just like it is there. Nice. So, yep. Yeah. Now, what's through the door? <laughs> Nothing, because it's broken beyond repair. Okay. I guess that area will have to wait. Okay, so I'm going to have to wander off and find another place to, level out, to block out. So, we'll go this way. Yeah, let's go down here. I have a feeling this area might be a bit more interesting. Um, let's see, open that. All right, okay, now here's where the verticality plays in. So we've got a 200, that's possibly 200 thickness. I don't know yet, but we're gonna have to kind of just go with it. Oh, no, I'm working off the grid, that's bad. Chris will literally kill me if he catches me working off the grid. Okay, so we know that's 400. But in the case of this, we're just gonna have to kind of eyeball this one. So that's that height, so we don't have to worry about that. It's about four. Ooh, that ramp's not quite as high. Is that only 100? I think that's only 100 high, so we're actually looking at a 300 high corridor, I think. So okay, we can cheat, we can take that, because we already made one, that's 100. We can just move it over here and use that as the ramp. Turn it. Plunk it down there. Actually, does that... Yeah, that does. Is that 100? Actually... That doesn't look to be a hundred, does it? 
because of the yeah if the half of that is diamond that's 100 then it comes down to 200 if we do that again that's 100 that's actually 150 hmm I don't know how much of an effect that could have on the rest of the level design if I change that. So we're going to have to... Hmm. <sighs> That's a bit of a sticky one, is it? Speaking of sticky cheese. Very, very hot. Imagine it doesn't help. I've got lights blazing down on me so that you can actually see me. So, if I move that down by one, how much of a... though oh I think it might have to just do at this point we can't really can't really make it any more different it might affect the level design in the other areas so yeah that's a pain but we'll just have to roll with it so hey Dan oh hey Steve how's it going Good. Sorry about that. No. I was uh, just getting out of a meeting. Hmm. Went well, I hope. Yes, very well. <laughs> How's the stream going? Very well. I think music's working. I think volume's working fine. I think people can actually hear you. Um, yeah, people can hear you, so that's that's good. Um, yeah. I'm just melting under this heat right now. <laughs> I was so going to tell you, um, I messaged you on Discord, I'm not sure, I don't think you saw it, but uh, it still says that you're playing I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. I did <laughs> I did change that. Do I have to stop and restart the stream for that to take to change? I or? don't know. Let me restart. Maybe it's uh, me. I'll just right. refresh the stream. <laughs> no, that's what it says. Eh, that's okay. Um, I'm not sure if it makes any difference. I uh, so where people are looking, but... I doubt it. Okay, that's going to be 400. Oh, actually, no, it could be 350. I oh, know I can't, because we're working on 50 grid. Hm. Nope, it's going to be 400. That's fine. So, uh, yep. Yeah. We've got another flat floor. We've got probably another. 150 ramp, is that a... Actually, that one just looks to be 100. This is probably all going to add up to something really horrible. That's... That's 150. That ramp is 100. This ramp is 150. Oh. Okay. We'll play it your way. How was your weekend, Steve? Um, it was pretty good. Um, I'm like trying to remember what I did. Oh yeah, it was uh, Cinco de Mayo on Saturday. It was awesome. also the Kentucky Derby, so we had <laughs> we did mint juleps and margaritas. Ooh, I was gonna. <laughs> what, was, what was the first thing you mentioned? The Kentucky Derby? No, before that. Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, what's that? Is that another horse race? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't actually heard of that one. No, no, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, like a Latin holiday. Oh right, okay. That that uh, all the white people in America have appropriated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you say so. Um, 
so yeah, we did that, um, and then uh, a couple of our friends just got back from Scotland, so they they brought some some scotch, and <laughs> we tried some of that. Nice. Um, God, what else do we do? <laughs> yeah, Pappy Biscuit says, uh, "Mint juleps." What are you, a Southern plantation owner? <laughs> 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 not quite but <laughs> it does make you feel like one <laughs> okay oh we've got some more awkward ceiling tiles I'm just going to do those Is that top piece there is just flat that's fortunate only 200 by 200 now. And then it slopes down by, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? That's 25. That has to be 25. I can't do that. Chris is gonna kill me. He will. Oh, it won't be that bad. <laughs> Might make it 50, actually. It can't be 25. It'll have to be 50. Actually, no. It looks fine. <laughs> Let's just say it looks fine. Move it down. Actually, it might be just... Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's another 400. your weekend my weekend was spent in the sunshine um, topping up the tan <laughs> it has been I, we've had this country has been cold it has just had cold weather for so long we got a taste of it a little bit earlier last month but it didn't really pan out but it, it technically in the UK it's a bank holiday um, so everybody has not been working, everyone's been off in caravans and things like that and it's been absolutely perfect for it because for the past three days there has not been a cloud in the sky, it has been wall to wall sunshine, it's been in maybe like the high 70s. Um, so it has been just perfect for getting out. Um, and you are inside. I am inside. She's drawn. They're not wrong. <laughs> On the computer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it, well, technically, it's it's nearly 11 o'clock now, so the sun's long gone, but ah. it's going to stay, it is going to stay nice for quite a while, actually. Um, and it's about time because I was really, really getting sick of the cold weather. Um, so, yeah, that's that's always nice. It sounds like kind of what's been going on here. It's this the winter just seemed like it was never going to end. We had one random day where it got up into the high 70s and then yeah. it dropped again. And I think at one point it hailed, it got below <laughs> freezing. And now we're, I think we're finally on the other side of all this. <laughs> and uh, literally we had no spring it just went from winter and just like directly into summer with no transition yeah 
the, yeah, it, I had I had a similar day like that uh, once. Um, I went to a football match and it was a lovely sunny day. Although you wouldn't think it because the it was something like it was very very cold. Um, it started off as a quite sunny day, but by the end of the match, um, there were the you couldn't you could barely see the players because there was that much snow coming into the stadium. It was a it's an open top stadium. <laughs> I, and I'm sat there next to my brother. My brother's next to me, and we're both sat there in like the thickest coats and scarves around our mouths, and we're just trying to keep warm, but we're just getting snowflakes in the eyes. It was, <laughs> it was the most <laughs> weirdest thing. Just the weather just can turn so quickly. Um, but yeah, I totally understand what you mean about the weird weather. Hopefully it's all going to stop and we can actually get some decent weather for a change now. Uh, and I should not get distracted so easily. Two, four, that's only 600 or so. Is Carly going to join us? I don't, she said she had some errands to do. So, um, some point, I guess. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not really keeping that much of an eye on the stream. No, but, no worries. Um, I do want to crack on with things. Make that 100. It's these parts of the level that could take a really long time, especially when you want to get it right. Um, it probably won't stay this way in its shape, but I'm just under orders to kind of do it this way, so that's what they're getting. Under orders. Mm -hmm. Who's ordering you around? Uh, I don't know. Some guy who hired me. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I, I hear he's called Steve. I did no such thing. <laughs> I am currently, um, I'm in ZBrush again, and I'm not working on the Virus Mutant. I'm doing the, um, like, the padded, mm. um, uh, how would you put it? Like, the little beds that go on top of the metal platforms. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. It's just, it required a very special touch, mm. and <laughs> I'm working on it, so... Cool. That's another, another weirdly shaped thing. Um, this is pretty interesting. I doubt you told anybody um, mm -hmm. on stream, but uh, they might be interested to hear this, is that we've got a guy on our team now um, who is like pretty much just dedicated to making blood. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yes. That friend of Jonathan's. Mm. Um. <laughs> he's really into blood. <laughs> mm. Not the game, actual actual blood. Although the game is really good as well. Actual blood, yes. Uh, it's weird that that needed to be cleared up, but <laughs> that's, that's the game. Well, it's game. Um, it's, we're all gamers. You never know. Yeah. Well. It's good because, you know, there is a lot of blood in this game and uh, it's got to look good. So, mm -hmm. dedicated blood guy. <laughs> hmm, that's 400. Yeah. Well, actually, does that come out? To... Ah, that comes down to the floor just nicely. Okay. Okay, I th that should be right. Blood man. Is he a vampire? Mm. <laughs> um, you know, mm. I don't know him well enough to say no. <laughs> uh, he very may well be. I know for a fact that uh, he's creating the blood. Um, I guess he went and he bought a couple liters of cow's blood. And he's like outside and he's got some white, um, either some paper or some kind of background. And he's like 
shooting at it with bullets, and um, <laughs> he's he's making a huge mess. And then he's uh, he's scanning in the blood splatters. So I wish I had video of that. Oh, is that uh, is that the realistic um, guts as well, or is that somebody else? Uh, that's the same guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course. Right. So I just realized I uh, can't leave that wall thin, so I've had to pad it out by 50. Uh, not 50, 100. So, oh my goodness. I'm finding it hard to kind of concentrate here. It is extremely humid. back to bite me on the bum. Hopefully. Well, got no choice really. Can't leave. Can't have that kind of stuff. It's got to be changed. So that's not 600, that's 700. I also put planes in to represent doors. That has to go there. That can't be that can't be thin. Change that, make that six hundred and yeah. Small little corridor is pretty much finished. Two, four, six. Okay. Yeah, we're onto the maze now. This is going to be a cool area to do. It might also be extremely easy because if I my memory is just if I remember rightly, this is pretty much straight corridors. So this should be pretty good. But watch it all fall to pieces. You're doing level seven, right? I am doing level seven, yeah. Uh, I showed off um, the reactor level, um, what I'd been working on throughout the week. Um, I left level seven alone so that we could kind of go through it on the stream. Um, although at some point I will. Um, I might start um, another vote again, uh, or I might just say we're going to do a level 8 on the stream, because I really want to do a level 8 on stream, because it's just such a amazingly shaped level that it would be really fun to broadcast that, but uh, yeah, I, really, I want to save level 8 for a stream as well, so I might actually jump to level 9 um, and do the, do the final level. Um, or I, I might start a poll up and you, we could all vote and we could, you could watch me do level 9. So many choices. Oh no, I didn't realise it, I didn't pause the game, I've run out of battery. Silly me. I saw somebody on stream earlier saying that they wanted to make you a version of Shock. Where the, with no clip? <laughs> That'd be nice. I think Alex could probably do that for you, right? Well, I was going to say the sauce goes out there, so I'm going nuts. Impress me. I'm looking forward to all the sauce pots that have uh, dynamic lighting. And, um, God, I remember there was one, there was one version of Quake. Um, somebody did a, 
really snazzy version of Quake that was so kind of modernized with all these modern uh, lighting things. Um, it wouldn't run on my machine at the time, or anybody else's, I don't think, but uh, it was cool to see what you can do with the source code, so. Of the original Quake? Yeah, um, I can't remember what it was called. Um, it had some really fancy name to it, um, but it was just like this uber kind of overpowered source port of Quake. Uh, stop talking, concentrate on level one design. <laughs> so, I'm getting distracted again, sorry. So, okay, so there's a ramp there. That's going to be annoying because that ramp looks as if it goes up very gradually. Where does this go, anyway? Okay, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, so that needs to be 1600. So what the heck was that? What, the noise? Yeah. Uh, I think it was me. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be making all kinds of noises. Let's see. <sighs> right. There it is again. Oh, someone's leaving. Someone's leaving gems behind. I think. I don't know. I'm oh, not sure, I'm not sure what those are. <laughs> oh, and Devious Demon, thank you. What are they? It's the pit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. What are they? <laughs> Somebody please tell me what they are. Uh, 400, then we've got 246. Okay, so let's move that along. They're infinity stones. Okay, <laughs> let's go with that. Oh, come on, alt. Obey me. There we go. <laughs> Is that just a dead end? Oh. Yeah, it's just a dead end. I could have made that. Me out. I'm sorry? It, I was trying to use my computer today and the, for whatever reason after I finished watching this YouTube video my keyboard just stopped working oh. and then when I tried to start the Unreal editor mm. it didn't recognize my video card and it wouldn't start uh oh oh yeah I've had that um, actually well I, I, I've kind of had that I get sometimes when I restart Unreal it says um, I don't have enough video memory um, and mm. I just solved the problem by just restarting. Yeah, thanks, Epic. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, Carly. Hey, Carly. I have arrived. Cool. Uh, this doesn't feel right. Actually, it might help when I get the walls down. Looks like we're meeting up to a ramp, though. Is that this place? Oh! Oh, shoot. Was I looking at the wrong door? I was. <gasps> I was looking at the wrong door. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are we gonna have a Linux version of uh, the reboot? Uh, yes, I, I believe that that's, that's the plan. Yeah, Mac, I, Mac Linux. 
Yeah. It'll be better supported than System Shock 2, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, it's not our fault, we don't have the source code. Yeah, I made a huge cock up. Oh, well, it's not that. A huge cock up. Oh, <laughs> I, I, that's <laughs> British, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, Yeah, sorry, it's it's really hot. It's kind of affecting me. <laughs> um, okay, two, four. goes there, we'll move these things up. Don't worry, everything's fine. Everything's good. No more cock ups? No, nope, no more cock ups. No more. Illegal. Hmm. <laughs> 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 yep, that looks right. How was your weekend, Carly? Pretty good, pretty busy. I did a lot of things. Um, we went to the Ren Fair in LA. Um, and I saw a ghost uh, the night before that. So, pretty eventful. But I'm very tired. A g g g g g ghost? Yeah. G g ghost. <laughs> Jinkies. Spooky. What do we do, gang? Let's split up. Jinkies. Whenever you are faced with a threat that you have no idea how to tackle, split up. That's not 400, that's 200. Got a funny shaped ceiling. Marvelous. While I was out before the stream, I had to run a couple of errands. We had to get a, a new mouse for the computer because um, the kitten destroyed the old one. And I <laughs> picked up one of the um, Tamagotchi uh, mini reboot thingies. Hmm. Well, cats go after mice, you should expect that. Tamagotchi reboot. Yeah, they made a 20th, 20th anniversary reboot of um, the Tamagotchis. Oh my. And they're like half the size as normal. Which is even funnier because I have a lot of the modern Tamagotchis too. With like <laughs> backlit color screens and everything. And those ones are giant. They're like palm size. And this one is like a itty bitty tiny baby. <laughs> So that square there is only 200, but this one looks to be 300. Daniel, was there a Tamagotchi craze at your 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 school growing oh, up? Oh, jeez. Uh, 
Not really. It was more um, Pokemon, Pokemon cards, um, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, but Tamagotchi was like the original little thing that you that you collected. Mm, not really. I not, love not, Tamagotchis. Yeah. I still have almost every single Tamagotchi I've ever owned. I just keep them. Um, I used to have my mom babysit them for me when I would go to school because <laughs> I got in trouble for bringing it to school too many times. Hmm. Yep. Um, and then in high school, of course you did. I got <laughs> yes. In high school, I had um, the the Tamagotchi like Music Star Tamagotchi uh, like V four, V five, V six. And um, they had pause features, so if you held down certain buttons, it would pause your Tamagotchi, for, so you wouldn't like have to worry about it. Ah. Uh. Um. And speaking, the chat's talking about Tamagotchis missing micro payments. Um. I have to let you know <laughs> there is a Tamagotchi mobile app that does have microtransactions. <laughs> oh man. So it does exist. Pay fifty That's cents devilish. to keep your hamster I... alive. So. <laughs> My most recent Tamagotchi is my Tamagotchi P. And my Tamagotchi P, they have this little USB-ish clip. I don't know what size it really is, but you plug in this jewelry piece to the top of it and it unlocks um, new characters and items. And that's a form of microtransaction in a way. Could you, Dan, that, that gives me a pretty good idea. Could you create an app, right? With like a little virtual creature in it and you literally have to pay, let's say, like a dollar for like a hundred units of whatever food you want to give it. And if you don't continually feed it, you know, take care of it, it will die. Like, could you create a Skinner box thing, like a are psychological? You, are you asking me personally <laughs> to make it? No, I'm not asking you personally. <laughs> but I am. Um, you. <laughs> you could, but that would be wrong. Would it? Well. <laughs> I know the business guys would be like, cha-ching. Everyone in chat saying, that's just a real pet, guys. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Of course it's a real pet, yeah. <laughs> okay, what if it was a little more, like, what if it was a little mm. more extreme where you had, let's say, the front of the app looked like a microwave. <laughs> all right, all right. We're not doing hamster microwave. This is... And there was a little animal inside, and you had 60 seconds to pay more money to increase the amount oh of time gosh. before was... it exploded. I was just about to say, th th this is not Dave the Tentacle. But it could be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually speechless. <laughs> That's what mm. happens. I'm going to post a picture of the new Tamagotchi in the Discord channel. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you know what? Can we make a Shodan Tamagotchi where we take care of the Shodan, like a little baby handheld Shodan? Hmm. It'd be very cute. We Well, that, you know, we could have like some kind of companion app like Fallout 4 did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it would be. That's a that's an interesting idea, though. Just call it, uh, mm, Shodan Baby or something. <laughs> okay, Cal is not in charge of naming things. I'm really bad at naming things. <laughs> Shodan <laughs> Baby really. 1.0. I'm also about to take a picture of size comparison between this 20, 20 uh, year uh, anniversary Tamagotchi versus the Tamagotchi P, because the size difference is crazy. Why, why did you make that roof that angle? Ugh. Carly, did you see Daniel's portrait? No, I haven't. I need to. Okay, let me send it to you. 
because I have it. It turned out really good. I'll be able to use it next week then. I'm excited. I, I'll be honest in saying I've always wanted to make my own little virtual pet game um, more than anything because I love virtual pet stuff. Hmm. Did you have Nintendo dogs? I did. <laughs> I love anything that's like virtual pets. I liked back in the day the original cats and dogs. Um, on PC, the ones with the Z at the end. Oh, yeah, I remember them. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I see Daniel's portrait. He's got a little surprise in his pocket. <laughs> Two, four, six, was that eight? Yeah. Two, four, yeah. Well, actually, uh, yeah, I'll have to make that a different height a little bit because for some reason the ceiling goes up there. Mind. Is that only for? Uh, we'll leave it. Um, then it's 400 that way. We're not going to make that one huge block because um, something might have to go in there. But we can make it back down to 200 again in height. And it's the same on the other side. I think this is the uh, way up to the <clears throat> second antenna that you have to destroy. Actually, yeah, we could make. Yeah, I'm just gonna make that 600 in length, and then start a new block. Probably just I'll just cheat and copy this one. How high does it go up? I think it actually might go. That looks to be 200 overall. 50, 100. 150. Yeah, that's 200. So we have four tile pieces that are 50 in height each. Okay. Well, that's fortunate because we just can make. An 800, <clears throat> excuse me, long unit, and we can just move it up by 200. Saying in chat now that we should make our own like virtual hacker simulator. Like you <laughs> raise a little baby hacker until it's all grown up, <laughs> and then you send them in somewhere. <laughs> <It'll be cute. laughs> you can dress them up, do their hair, get them cool like hacker style clothing, like gloves and sunglasses and leather coats. I don't know if you guys ever had them, but they'd be like trolls. Not internet trolls, oh, like yeah. the 90s trolls. I know which ones you're talking about. They made so many <laughs> different iterations of those. Mm. <laughs> also, I see Wolfenbach did a cheer earlier in Devious Demon. Yeah, um, we, got, we got shiny diamonds. What are they for? So shiny. What do they what do they do? Someone tell me. 
it's like oh, a they current. just look pretty. <laughs> Hey, um, you know what I was thinking, Carly? What we could do is we could gift some subs. Oh, yeah, we could do that. Do you want to run a raffle right now and we'll try it out and I'll gift somebody a sub? Yeah, um, I don't know how we preset that kind of stuff up. Uh, let me click the button and look at it real fast. Okay. A sub? I am hungry. <laughs> Is that one sandwich? I was gonna say, is that what you no, is that not what you're talking about? It is not what we're talking about. <sighs> Get my hopes up. I'm gonna set up the giveaway stuff um, right now, uh, and then I'll let you know when it's ready. Are you logged into the night dive? Yeah. Thing. Okay, I let am. me. I'll just give you the info, and then you could do it from your account, Is that, or our account. Yeah. All right. One sec. Hmm. So I just need to measure the height of the walls I need for this. So that's going to be two hundred. Yes. Yeah, Is that not already four hundred? Oh no, it's just 300. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we'll make those 400. Also, I was just thinking about this while reading chat. Um, when I was like in elementary school and in middle school, I would cut out pieces of paper and draw all over them to make my own little hamster houses. So I'd draw little hamster characters and like build whole environments for them and make them like, that was like my dollhouse. <laughs> human corpse that you can see on screen now, I think, I might be wrong, but it's the only one in the game that you can't evaporate with weapons. I'm not sure why, but I think it's the only one. That is 400 by 400? MacD11 is asking if we've ever thought about a System Shock movie and what that would be like. And I think Steve has thought a lot about that. Like, a lot. <laughs> Probably. Is he not All around? Right, we, should, we, should, we should ask him that question when he gets back. Yeah, when he comes back. Uh, but I've started the raffle for a free sub so everyone do exclamation point raffle to enter what's up you had a question yeah somebody oh. asked um what do we feel about a system shock movie about a system shock movie mm -hmm. um i think that could be pretty cool It would depend on the uh, on the director, I think. Um, the way would I would you want, want to direct to do it. it in your dreams. Not Michael Bay. Ooh. Not Michael Bay. <laughs> um, I would love to have Guillermo del Toro do it. I've been a that big be fan of his for a long time. And uh, I think that he could do some really cool practical effects on uh, some of the monsters. I mean, after seeing Pacific Rim, he can do anything. And uh, the way that I would want it is pretty similar to the game where you're the only one alive. And it would just be <laughs> entirely shot in the first person. <laughs> <laughs> like that hardcore Henry thingy? Yeah, but 
but uh, it's space. In space. Didn't Doom do that? There was a scene in Doom where it was first person. They did. But we don't talk about Doom, do we? Well, you know, I remember going to that movie on opening night uh, <laughs> when I was in college. And, uh, yeah, it was a terrible movie. But as soon as that first-person scene started, everybody in the theater went nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's the coolest part of the film, I think. Everyone went crazy. So I think that it has potential. I think it could be done. Fair enough. Carly, did you get that info? Yeah. Okay. I'm about to draw the winner. That's my drum roll. All right, then I'll draw. Cut again. Has one. Oh, he's got Twitch Prime too. <laughs> Rigged. Ah. Let's get get two thumbs up from me. Hmm, so that goes round there. That is two, four, six, eight. Okay. Oh, he said give it to somebody else. Is he, are you already subbed to us? Yeah, that's a good question. But he entered. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll draw someone else if he says so. The winner is Refractor. Congrats. Oh, he was the last one to enter the raffle. Are we sure he oh. wasn't the only one to enter the raffle? I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure because I, I didn't reset it. <laughs> Can't not win a raffle <laughs> if you're only, the only one who enters. Trust me, I can see the full list list of entrants, and he wasn't the only one. <laughs> All right, Carly, can you check your chat real quick? Oh yeah. So two, four, six, eight hundred on both sides. So that means we know the floor is already eight hundred, and it's six hundred in width. So yeah. Okay, yeah, do uh, give away two more subs. Cool. Um, uh, let me send this one real fast, and then I'll send do two more. Copy that over. Make this 400 in Y. We already know that's going to be 600 in X, so <clears throat> 100Y, 600X, and that fills that nicely. Could just copy it for the ceiling as well. That's a... Mm, I don't think there's anything else above this area, so we can just leave that as is. We are making some progress. Cool. Uh, I sent Ray Fractor their tier one sub. Woo. I should have announced it on screen too. <laughs> Oh, that comes out here. Okay. All right, I have reset the raffle, and I'm gonna open it up for a new one now. Oh, I need to unpeel myself from my chair.
Oh, it just occurred to me the um, game window is covering up part of the chat. It is, but um, it's fine. You can still see chat pretty okay. well. Um, we'll adjust it more as time goes on, but you can still see chat. It just gets pushed up after a while. Yeah. All right, I'll pick the next winner um, at 3.27. That's in one minute my time. <sighs> Why is this such a thin... <sighs> um question it, uh, that we have now in chat says, think we'll see Easter eggs relating to Prey or Bioshock in the remake somewhere? Probably at least Bioshock. Hmm. I would say. Alright, I'm about to draw a winner. <laughs> Lady Linny has won. Congratulations! Woo. I am not including that. That. I'm not including that. I'm just gonna finish. I'm just gonna finish this sentence with that. I'm not doing that. That is, that is pretty pointless. I don't see it affecting. Anything else? We're just going to leave that as is. If it does, then I'll eat my own words later. Fun fact though, I do know that if you install Prey 2007 with Prey 2017, they install in the same Steam folder, and no one's ever bothered to fix that. It's kind of funny, even though the games work fine. It's just something I noticed. Six hundred there, six hundred. Two, four, six, eight, a thousand. Okay. Right, two hundred by eight hundred, because we already have the two hundred thing. All right, I'm about to draw again. And the winner is Kegels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or is it Kegels? <laughs> I don't know, but I knew this guy in middle school that that was his uh, last name. Uh -huh. And that's what we'd call him. Spelled the same way. Caesar or Kaiser? Actually, it's a good job I split that floor off because I'm going to have to make that 200. Am I actually going to have to make that 200 thick? Probably not, actually. No. It's good. We're good. We good? Yeah, we're good. Two, four, six, eight. <laughs> Thousand and then two, four, six, oh, six, eight, a thousand.
All right. All three sub giveaways are complete. Yeah, the the only problem that I had with Prey. Which one? Uh, the new one. Um, I like the old one quite a bit. But I remember getting quickly just irritated with the new one because of the way the mimics worked. I would just like walk into a room and be like, okay. Are we going to have to drop some spoiler warnings here? No, I don't think so. I mean, they already made a pretty big deal. They made a pretty big deal out of how the mimics work. And it's like, so I'd walk into just any room and be like, oh, so what's going to fucking attack me? Excuse me. (laughs) <laughs> is it gonna be this coffee cup is it gonna be this stool like oh no no it's like a kitchen plate here it comes <laughs> it always frightened the life out of me did that though kept me on edge which i kind of liked yeah I, I think it would have been better had uh i don't know I, maybe i was just a little too overwhelmed at first because they throw a lot of systems at you like right away mm. And then I always get anxiety when I have to spec my character because it's like, well, I don't know how I want to play this game yet. (laughs) Um, I don't know exactly what's going to be the most useful. Like, do I want to do all hacking? Do I want to, you know, try to be, uh, you know, have a lot of combat proficiency, whatever. So it really is kind Uh, of like System Shock 2 in a way because you do start that game kind of not knowing what on earth you need to specialize in if you go with the OSA. That's true. It is very much like System Shock 2, but Shock 2 wasn't, there wasn't so many things that you could spec right away. There was a limited amount. I mean, you could still do anything you wanted, but it was like, here's four different paths you can take. Mm. Uh, In Prey, I just remember, like just seeing the like the tree, the skill tree, I was like, oh my God, this thing is, massive like I better make up my mind now from the very beginning how I want to play and you know I, I don't have a whole lot of time to replay this game like 25 times to see how different all these specs are going to be or whatever so I don't know I really need to go back and, and play it all the way through though I do admit that uh, it's, it was a gorgeous game um, it was fun from the time I did get to play it but uh I don't know. Maybe I'm just not as patient as I used to be. <laughs> um, we have a question in chat that says, do you guys normally start with 2D level design layouts before going to block out, or are you going right into it? Daniel? Oop. Sorry, what was that again? I mean... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it says, do you guys normally start with a 2D level design layout before going to block out, or are you going straight into it? Uh, straight into block out, really. Um, we don't have any 2D d- design stuff um, kind of done. We're just going straight into the block out stage of things. Um, I'm basing it off, as you can see, the original level, just kind of what I call eyeballing it. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Another question is, do you guys like any RTS games a lot? I'd love to get into RTS games, but I have no idea where to start. Sometimes, I mean, I don't even know if the games I play count technically as an RTS, because they're like an RPG RTS type stuff. Mm. Because I play like all of the Fire Emblem type games, and I mean, those technically count. Hmm. Yeah, actually, thinking about that, yeah, I do enjoy um, Shining Force. Um, the Shining Force games are great. So, yeah. If they count, then I'll Yeah, that. that's a good question of certain games count or not, because sometimes they're not just RTSs. Because mm. I play a lot of games that have um, RPG elements and RTS elements. And then, like... Yeah. I, I don't know, because I play, technically, I 
play a lot of RTSs if we're not counting that as like the only thing they do because I always liked Phantom Brave and Disgaea and Fire Emblem and anything like that. Mm. And then some of, I do, I have played some classic type RTSs as well, but I have a, a leaning towards the JRPG type ones. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, I know. It shouldn't be surprising. <laughs> I went through a really big phase, uh, maybe around sixth grade, where I was like really into Command and Conquer. Oh. I played all of them up to uh, Alliance, I think. But uh, that's what all my friends and I played, and then we we would uh, do land parties and and play uh, Command and Conquer against each other. People are discussing RTS stuff in chat. It's it's hard because like the people are talking about isn't the key element the real time part? And then someone says real time with pause. <laughs> 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 and it's a good point. You mm. know, I don't know how to answer these questions <laughs> because there's like RTS elements in certain games, but it's not like exactly a true to form RTS, I guess. I'd love to play one of those um, proper Command and Conquer games, but they look very scary. I tried playing. Oh, what's the game that Sid Meier's makes? Um, Civilization, is it? Civilization mm -hmm. Five. They did a trial run of it on Steam. Like you can play this game free for forty-eight hours. Um, I started it up, and it literally kind of plonks you in this world, and it says, "Okay, go." And the control scheme is so is so scary. I was like, I'm gonna try and do things now. I can't do things. I'm not. Re I'm not sure if this is for me. So I did stop. But I'm not sure if that really counts either. Um, but those kind of games, I'm not sure about. Is that an RTS? I think it is. Uh, it's a turn-based strategy game. Yeah. TBSG, as they are not <laughs> known to be called. That's why I'm like, is there a better term for it? Because there is like those fusion-esque games. Uh, no, I'm not sure. Civ, they just call them Civ games. <sighs> I do like Civ games. Um, I like things with strategy, and I like puzzly things, and I like games that you have to think about a lot. Now I want to know everyone in chat's favorite, like, true-to-form RTS game. Like, not any kind of the weird combo fusion things I'm talking about, but like, true-to-form. True-to-form. Like ah. a pure RTS. The do... TTF RTS. <laughs> I do have a <laughs> copy of Sorry. I do have a copy of Dragon Force Words. for the um Sega Saturn. That's a pretty hardcore RTS. Um like it's to do with nations and uh, it's kind of a proper you you are looking at armies, um Kind of like on a um, continent-sized map. Um, it's quite scary, but um, many people said good things about it. So I'll take them at the word. Two, four, six, eight hundred that way, and yeah, pretty much the same as the floor. Although, oh no, we don't have any ramps. I know it sounds like I don't know if it sounds weird it's just like my grandpa really likes RTSs <laughs> my grandpa likes RTSs and civilization type games well, it's not weird it's fine my dad plays Fallout yeah. 3 um, oh yeah I remember you said when you had got it for him mm, I bought it um, for his birthday 
and I thought, this will probably never, ever, ever get played. <laughs> I think he might have spent about 3,000 hours in Fallout 3. And, th oh, and, wow. th and that is being generous. Um, he keeps telling me how he's killed everybody off and he's run out of people to kill. So, <laughs> in Fallout 3? In Fallout 3, <laughs> yes. And My mom so, yeah. doesn't like any game that she can't tell if she's obviously winning or not because she gets <laughs> really competitive. She needs like that instant gratification of she's beating you. So she <laughs> likes playing like Smash and things like that. Isn't it funny how dads are though, Daniel? Like my dad and I started playing um, adventure games with each other mm. um, when I was really young. Like when we got our first computer, it was like I mean, it was like Mist, um, Zork, Zork Nemesis. Um, I could name so many adventure games we played. And then I started getting into Quake, hmm. uh, which I had to convince him to let me play because they were they followed the whole ESRB thing. Like, they wouldn't let me touch anything that, you know, was rated M or... Really? At the time, the, the warnings had, like, the little thermometer. Remember that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Or ESRB. Oh, hang on. Um... Yeah, I have no mouth and I'm a scream. Hang on, I'm going to see if I can zoom in on there. Yeah, I got little... Oh, you can't see that very well, but there are thermometers on the box. And so, I, yeah, I had to convince my dad. I'm like, oh, please, you know, let me play Quake. It's really awesome. And he's like, okay. So he finally lets me play. And uh, that year, I the only thing I wanted for Christmas was uh, Half-Life. Like 1997, 98. And uh, they got it for me. My aunt got it for me. And we had to free up like a quarter of our hard drive space because it took <laughs> up 800 megabytes. It was huge back then. We had a 1.2 gig hard drive. So it was like, yeah. basically, we have to uninstall everything so Steve can play this game. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they let me. And uh, after I was done with it, my dad's like, oh, what? You know, I think I'll I'll try this, and he ended up replaying Half Life One like sixteen times, <laughs> and then he started getting into Quake Three, and he'd be up all night just playing Quake Three Arena against the bots. He would never do online multiplayer, <laughs> and uh, he started forming this like really weird relationship with the bots where he <gasps> was convinced. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, you go! I remember you could talk to the bots. You'd, you'd say hello, and they'd say hello, and you could type LOL, yeah. and they'd, they'd say stuff and, back to you. That amazed me at the time as well. I love that. And the That's the crazy funny. thing is, like, I would like wake up in the morning, you know, <laughs> on my way to school, and he'd be talking to me about the bots, and he's like, "Oh, you know, the biker guy. Like, I'm convinced that he's cheating." <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, oh my god." <laughs> Yeah, it's like a it's a bot. It doesn't. He's like, no. He's like, I've caught it a couple of times. Oh it's, my god! <laughs> oh my goodness! That's I really picked funny. up this really bad habit from my dad, where like, when he's playing an online game, or I'm against the bots, and he's really into it, he'll like hold his breath, mm -hmm. and he make oh this really funny noise where he'd be like. Nyeh, nyeh. Like while he's playing, and I catch myself doing that. <laughs> I have one of those kind of bad habits too. I don't know where I got it, but then I noticed my little brother doing it, and so I, I guess when I get frustrated in a game, I start kicking my legs a little bit, and I'll stand up and start kicking my legs a little bit. Uh -huh. And then I noticed my little brother was doing it, and I didn't know I did it. And I got mad at my brother. I'm like, "Sit down. Stop kicking your legs." And he's like, "Okay, okay." And he was getting all mad at me for getting mad at him. And my mom's like, Curly, he's just copying you. That's what you do when you get mad. Oh. I was like, oh. Shoot. I didn't know I got kicky. <laughs> wow. I get anxious and I start, like, I can't sit still. And I start kicking my legs. <laughs> but yeah, we used to have a DDR dance. <laughs> No kicking. We had a DDR dance pad I've mentioned before. And when my little brother would play, he would pull up his pants like and hold <laughs> onto his pants. 
like he was like trying to like smash grapes to make wine or something. <laughs> <laughs> it looked really funny. <laughs> Now, oh, this is an interesting question if you guys are ready for it. Hmm. I'm ready. Someone, someone says, uh, given the sheer amount of games, what's the industry consensus on gameplay mechanics borrowing? For example, uh, Dark Messiah's Rope Bow or Prey 20, mm, 26 uh, Grav Wall. Sorry, I cannot pronounce. I meant to say 2006, but I said 2006. <laughs> uh, do devs get to use tricks from other games? Uh, yeah. It's basically all it is, right? It's just mm, you're copying what somebody else has done and, and iterating it on it and hopefully putting a new spin on it to make it uh, um, a little more unique. Though some, some developers don't even go that far, right? No. Yeah. Um, but Wolf it's pretty Bach retorts. How about Ask PUBG? <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, so PUBG was obviously not the first Battle Royale game. Um, not by a long shot. That's the thing with trend gaming. Um, there's always different trends in the gaming industry, and then people keep copying each other because it's doing really well, and then it ends up evolving the whole genre, I feel. Well, I mean, look at Dota 2. And yeah. what, what was the name of that other game? Um, there's like the legend. Born, ba born battle. Battleborn. Oh yeah, battleborn. I mean, there's like, yeah, the industry is pretty copy paste heavy a little bit, but you get some guys who you know really pressure things up. Some probably not so much. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, player unknown, like what he did with PUBG, was what he tried to do at um, at SOE or um, Daybreak before they got acquired um, with H1Z1. And it's like what he started to do when he was doing the DayZ mod for Arma 4. And now that uh, Fortnite is like is in on that whole thing i mean they they added in the whole building mechanic which is really cool um it's just a looser more fun um version of, of the whole battle royale thing and then and then if you want to go even further back i mean the whole idea of battle royale was taken from a book called battle royale <laughs> yeah uh, that came out in japan in the 90s and then was made into a movie which was yeah, then the... copied by the Hunger Games. Exactly. So. I loved the original manga for that. It was yeah. so good. Really cool stuff. And then it makes you think, right? As another developer, you're like, ah, oh, why, why didn't I think of that? Like, <laughs> this has been out for so long. Like, why, you know, it seems like it would have been a perfect, you know, perfect thing for a game. That room is now successfully copied. Ooh. Speaking of copy, I mean, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's time for me to try out Fortnite. I was interested in that game before it came out. Then it dropped off my radar. I'm like, ooh, that, uh. that this game where you build a base and fend off zombies? That looks kind of cool. Then it came out and I kind of forgot about it. I don't know. Did it, is the zombie. Is the gather resources by day, kill zombies by night thing, is that still part of the game or did it change? No, that's. It's not like that in this game. Oh. Well, right. there's two There's two versions, right? There's yeah. the Battle Royale version and then there's that version that Daniel's talking about, I think. Oh, it's different, though, right? That's not yeah. like the main version people are playing online together. Mm hmm I'm sure that there's still some people playing that one. Like, I, I want to oh. try that one still. Mm. I'm just looking at the fact that they've been adding costume-type stuff to it. <laughs> oh. 
Of that, course, that's what's good. got your interest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a predictable, predictable girl. Uh, <laughs> but those are cool outfits, though. I mean, I gotta hand it to them. They, yeah, they're they're fun. I don't. I don't like any kind of thing where I have to do any kind of like microtransaction, but I am a sucker for costumes. Ooh, pants, I keep forgetting to pause and I keep running out of energy. now modeled out, blocked out, not modeled, blocked. So we only have one more connecting room to go. And this room pretty, oh actually no we have two. And this room goes straight through to where we modeled blocked out first antenna room. So we know that that's going to be okay. There's also a there. kind of under floor section to it as well that we'll need to block out, but that might not happen on this stream. That'll probably happen next time. Someone's saying, is spiral music in the background or am I hallucinating? You're not, you're not hallucinating. Because I personally cannot wait for the remake that's coming out soon. Daniel, which one was the Spyro game where you collect the baby dragon eggs and they hatch? That was Year of the Dragon, Spyro 3. That one was my favorite. Mm. No one's excited for Croc Legend of the Gobos remaster? I want that as well. Gobos? Is that actually happening or are you just... No, I just made oh. that up. <laughs> Why would I you lie like that? I still have Croc. Hang on. He's up here. Hang on. Why would you lie like that? I got Croc. <laughs> Quite a good game. Why wouldn't I lie? <laughs> and... Eh, Croc 2. Which versions Croc. were those? I didn't have the stream of which one's the uh, PlayStation. Croc. Yeah, PlayStation. Yeah. Uh, I think they came out for PC too. Yeah, they don't work very well. So, um... Eh. <laughs> oh, guess what, stream? You want to know something funny that we that we learned about Bubsy 3D? <laughs> what we learned? We learned <laughs> that uh, the developers that did Bubsy 3 3D uh, were the same developers that, for their next project, did Siphon Filter. Oh. Yeah, a game I really want to try out. Which is like, critical, critically acclaimed. Like the studio, after they did Siphon Filter, they were purchased by Sony, like they acquired them. Like way to turn your luck around, huh? Mm. Are you trying to say something about Bubsy? Oh, Bubsy. Bubsy's insane. <laughs> you dissing my Bubsy? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong when you diss the Bubsy? Oh, was that a was that a Bubsy pun? Yeah. I could possibly go wrong. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, what I used to think he said, because of the Mega Drive's really awful sound filtering, I used to think he said, watch your pocket so you'll go wrong. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. <laughs> I'm just reading the chat now. <laughs> <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, and a gap. Four hundred. Uh, 
This is one of those fun shape rooms. I think we should try to make a uh, an animal based anthropomorphic uh, can mascot. The, can the Ming character be my bat cat Apollo? <laughs> sure. He's very anxious and he has a chip out of his ear. He's great for a mascot character. Oh, he's got lots of character already. Yeah. He has marketability, shape as of we a, say. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's already a, basically a model to begin with. <laughs> and his little sidekick can be Artemis, my other cat. She basically has been, she's been wearing a harness every single day, like to go outside with. But she doesn't like it when we take it off, so she's always wearing her harness, and it kind of makes her look like um, a leather daddy. <laughs> oh! <clears throat> it's really funny. A leather daddy. Can I we... need to get her a little matching cap. <laughs> can, we just not have, can we just not have another Conker's game? Who remembers Conker? Um, yeah, oh, we can oh, have oh. a Conker's game, but like with my cat Apollo instead. <laughs> Somebody should link that infamous Conquer ad where the woman's in that really sleazy hotel room talking about oh, going at it all night <laughs> with the squirrel. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I, I remember the first time Dude. I encountered Conquer as a kid. I was like, what is this? And I would just stare at it at the Blockbuster for like forever when I'd be there. Just wondering what am I looking at? I didn't what think, is this? I didn't think they it's pretty British humor, though. I didn't think that it would go down very well in America. Or am I wrong? I must be wrong. They weren't happy about it when it came out here because it looks like a kid's game. <laughs> but it wasn't. No. I think you can get that on the... Uh... There's like a collection of, of rare titles that came out on Xbox One. I guess so. Oh, wasn't like, it called Rare Replay or something? Yeah, that's it. Mm. It's got all the Banjo Kazooie games. And... Yeah, I should get that. All that stuff. Uh, someone was trying to link the Conquer ad, but I know um, people that are like, uh, I guess, mod can't link. Mm. Oh yeah, that that ad was uh, was interesting. <laughs> All right. So, what con I mean, what console needs a uh, needs an anthropomorphic mascot? Which? Oh yeah, I guess it kind of does, doesn't it? What was that? I mean, technically, Sony already has one. It has that white cat. What's his name? No, it's got to be Crash Bandicoot. I was, right? Oh yeah, I was gonna say I thought it was Crash. Oh no, but they. Sony Japan has a white cat as their mascot. Let me I find a picture of them. White cat? Yeah, this is new to me. I'll link it. His name is Toro. What? Toro? You don't know Toro? No, I don't know Toro. Nobody knows it's Toro. It's the mascot! <laughs> Nobody knows Toro. What did I tell you about making stuff up, Carly? Hey. <laughs> okay. I'm never making anything <laughs> up in my life. There's Toro <laughs> and Kuro. There's Guillermo de Toro. <laughs> he's not a white right cat, though. I just found a forum that says, any reason Sony doesn't use Toro and Kuro outside of Japan? Because <laughs> no one's ever heard of them. <laughs> uh, they've been around forever though, and I know them. <laughs> OK, 
can just hear the level of frustration just building slowly. <laughs> yes, I linked them in chat. It is. <laughs> They're very cute. All right, I gotta see this. Let me see these links. What? Those guys? Yeah, Toto and Kudo. I don't know if I trust it. They've been around since <laughs> 1999, though. So they they've got some years on them. They've been around like almost 20 years. Good Daniel's just shaking his head. <laughs> How dare you doubt me? <laughs> They even like make guest appearances in different games too, like um, uh, with like Monster Hunter and Little Big Planet. Um, what else? They're in some fighting games. They're just they they make like secret appearances and stuff, but they don't really use them um, in ads outside of Japan. Oh, I think they were. In, did I already say Little Big Planet? Because I'm pretty sure they're in Little Big Planet as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. you did. And I remember I was at GDC the year that Little Big Planet got announced. Like during the whole, I was at the presentation and everything. I remember everybody was like, "Oh, this is gonna, this, this is it. This is what's gonna change the industry. Is like being able to make your own levels and stuff in the game and blah blah." Everybody was so excited, and then it didn't really happen. Sadness. <laughs> Poor little sack boy. Um, people are asking how we feel about Jet Set Radio. I love <gasps> Jet Set Radio, and I think you guys do too. Jet Set Radio is the best Dreamcast game ever. One of them, anyway. I love Jet Set Radio. Please, Sega, put Jet Set Radio Future on PC. Just take my money. I have never played it. <laughs> no, you need I'm to play surprised. it. I thought you would have for some reason. I didn't have like I didn't have a Dreamcast. I didn't have any. Oh. I didn't have anything growing up. I still I got my have... copy lying around somewhere down there. Great no game. Nintendo, no nothing. No nothing. No, I had to basically just rely on going over to friends' houses at sleepovers to get my to get my gaming. I guess I was very lucky. Like, that's all we did at my home growing up. <laughs> I, that's all you did. We, I, we didn't do anything really besides read and play games. I bought my Dreamcast the very uh, the day before Sega exited the console business. I saved up all my money. I went down to Toys R Us. Um, I, bought, I bought my Dreamcast. It came with Rez, Jet Set Radio, and Metropolitan Street Racer. It was £100, or about $150. Still got it. Don't regret it. Amazing system. I don't know the costs of anything. I just know because my mom had one, and then my mom let me play it. Mm. I remember the year that my cousin got a Super Nintendo. I was like, furious because my parents just did not bend when it came to that. And I just Aww. don't know why. I like to this day, I'm like, why? Did you see what happened? Now I make games. <laughs> so I had started like a pool cleaning business, a dog walking business, babysitting. I did everything just to just have everything. I was like, I'm going to earn money. I'm going to be a go-getter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I did. I saved up all my paper route money. Um, well, it's not that I didn't have, like, the money. Like, I saved up money. It was like, if you bring this thing in our house, you're not hooking up to the TV. 
Oh. Yeah, like, yeah oh. my family did not care about that stuff because they played games too. Mm. I have really young family members. Like, all my aunts are like more like sister age to me. So. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe. GoFundMe. <laughs> go fund my childhood that I never had. <laughs> I am the Michael Jackson. <laughs> I remember one of my cousins. He brought me a PS One, and he like had a whole bunch of blank game CDs that he had burnt for me. Oh, cool. Filthy pirate. And, like, I just never knew which games they were until I popped them in. It was always a mystery. Oh, that's the best, though. Yeah, <laughs> mystery games. Two, two, four. When I was in high school, I bought a, I bought a modded PS1 off of eBay. And it came with, like, a case logic um cd case just full of burnt playstation games the best yeah <laughs> it was like let's spend a whole day and just see what Figure we get out. yeah <laughs> when my cousin he would babysit me when i was probably like 11 or 12 years old um we would play like all the Resident Evil and Silent Hill games that were out at that time because we would try to get as scared as possible. <laughs> Anything spooky, we would play. Mm, I couldn't play those games. Too scary at the time I let my dad play them. Too spooky for you. Mm -hmm. Resident Evil 1 or 2 was pretty terrifying. Even um, my buddy got that game uh, Parasite Eve. <gasps> yeah, go on. Yeah, well, we played that one together, and that was that was pretty scary. Even though it was turn-based, yes, it, was, good. it was scary. I really, 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 really loved the second one. Um, so much so that I was like, where's the first one? I've got to play the first one. And they never released it in Europe. Ooh. So, yeah. Strange choice. Yeah, why release the second one when the first one hasn't come out? But that's regions for you. I really hate that. Like, Europe gets dicked out of so many games that you guys get. And like, we never got Shadowrun. We never got Chrono Trigger. We never got so many games that you guys have played. And it's just not fair. <laughs> what can I say? It's just not fair. Oh, you didn't get the Chrono Trigger, huh? Nope. We did not. It seems like a misstep. Mm-hmm. We didn't even get Chrono Cross either, so when everybody says that Chrono Trigger is the best game ever, I'm like, hey, if you say so. That's too sad for you. Mm-hmm. We did get Alien Soldier, though, so... We win. Because <laughs> <laughs> Alien Soldier's amazing. I should try playing something really spooky on my gaming streams, but I don't know if I'll be too scared. Like, I'll need to have people chatting with me, like, verbally, so I don't get scared. <laughs> um, Parasite Eve 3 on PSP, that game never happened. I think. <laughs> According to the internet, that game never happened. I'm waiting for the new Rampa to go on sale because I want to get it and maybe I can save that game for streaming too because that one will take a long time to get through so I can mm. have it on my because I'm going to start doing every other week two gaming streams on the weeks that Chris isn't streaming dev stuff so I thought I could play something that's going to take a little bit longer yeah yeah, it might be fun. I don't know. I'll think about it and see what other people think. <laughs> Sounds good. That way I can mix it up a little bit and play two different games simultaneously, maybe. Hmm. 
That all fits together so nicely. So that room also, is I need out. to buy a fan. Yeah. I'm really hot, and I I I have a fan, but it's gonna be too loud for while I'm streaming. Yep. So I I want to get one of those really quiet, nice ones. Hmm. I was looking at the Dyson ones earlier. They're all fancy. And well, like the bladeless ones. Yeah, they're very quiet though. I'm determined to get up to that door before time. I'm so close. Speed game development. <laughs> Don't finish the door now, it's never going in. <laughs> Boy. Uh, that oh no, that's easy. That's okay. I forgot how weird Gateway to Glimmer's soundtrack is. <laughs> it's kind of strange sometimes. Ah, but yes, I remember I had to extend that corridor out by 50. No, not by 50, by 100. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to have to, I'm gonna have to make that that instead. Yay, that area now connects with this area. We completed the loop, which is what I wanted. Oh man, Costco has these Dyson fans for like half the price as normal. Nice. Yes, that fits 
just fine. Copy that pillar over because it's the same. Copy that along, make that 200. Shove that there. Copy that up here. I just noticed that we've surpassed two hours. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we have. Um we could call it there if you want. Um, I was also gonna ask, do we have anything else we can show since last time, like engine wise or no? Because I don't know, like, what, where we are with builds or whatnot. Um, you could hop in the build and show off some of those new props that made it in. Oh yeah. If you feel so inclined. Can no do. pressure, but. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'll do for this area, I've just so as you've seen, just been fully going at the block out I'll probably light this off stream uh, and annotate it um, so we can be fully prepared to do the other smaller sections in this area but uh, yeah we got a huge chunk of stuff done today pretty much actually yeah I think the same amount of floor space that we did for the First dream, so that's pretty darn that's good, pretty cool. actually. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you're able to do so much while on the stream. Like watching you go through it is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's it's just fun to do. Um, so yeah. So oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna go for a nice cold shower after this. That probably feel good. <laughs> Mm. I, oh my, I can't. It's so humid in here. Alright, we'll leave it at that. We'll just quickly build and save that. I'm glad that there are so many people that were able to hang out today. Chat was a lot of fun. So, yeah, I've loaded up the medical map. Um, we have all these um, assets in now. Uh, we've got a um, Cans of soda, syringes, we've got a, um, what they're called, um, stethoscope, that's it. Um, and some other thingies. things as well. Yep, some thingies. Some doohickeys and some doodle bops. Doodle bops. Um, the little scissory things are gross looking because of the blood. <laughs> oh yeah, look at all that stuff. Oh yeah, Triop soda. <laughs> Called Tripop, which is that did make me go ha ah! when I saw it. <laughs> In a kind of punny way. Um Yeah, um anything else you want me to show off? Uh, I don't think so. That's I mean 
can't really think of anything. Hopefully, uh, next time we'll have a lot of blood to show off. <laughs> oh, yeah. There has been a lot of behind the blood. And by blood, I mean developer blood. We've been just extracting Daniel's blood and importing it into the game. It's true. It's all, it's all true. Right, well, um, I guess we'll call it there for this stream. Um, yeah, you've been thanks. working hard. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's fun to go through and do this and share, share the progress with you guys, so. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, um, we'll have more streams upcoming. If you scroll below, we have posted a schedule actually. So um, on the 9th, I'll be gaming, on the 10th, I'll be gaming, and then on the 11th, we'll have Steven here. Um, I don't know what you plan on doing, but it'll be dev or gaming, um, whatever you prefer. And then continuing on through the month, we have everything posted. So please join us. Join us. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. See ya. Bye.